what's up everybody welcome back to my channel rj trades and what a run for tesla literally from 1300 lows like 1380 or 1390 a week ago uh, almost uh, on 12 to 20 within the seven eight days like a week and few days we literally had 500 plus run that's what an amazing run and i think a lot of people banked on it and if you remember like uh, if you follow me on tiktok if you do not uh, don't forget to f follow me the link below and if you do not follow me in uh, youtube too i make a lot of videos like that a lot of educational videos so don't fall don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and also click that bell button so you get updates whenever i'm uploading new video if you do thank you very much so today we just kind of talk about like how tesla how do you trade this momentum stocks and uh, how i do and how you should be doing too and also uh, i have ema uh, 14 day EMA and 50 day EMA. I was kind of testing around different EMAs and they really work great for all this. Uh, so EMA is basically exponential moving average. Uh, so um, you can you can play around with different time frame and uh, this is this uh, this green is a 14 day EMA and this is 50 day EMA and i'm gonna talk about like how you trade all this momentum so one thing a lot of people are confused about it like when to get in when to get out and things like that right so a lot of things impact for example uh you need to look into the stocks for example tesla move tesla moves really big on news if you look at the history right so when they had um, in um, second quarter like when they had like every the wall street were expecting they'll have like every car company had bad uh, uh, bad sales number for vehicles but tesla literally beat them like um, they beat by 10 or twenty thousand. i don't have uh, about 80 or ninety thousand cars they sold when every other companies were not selling cars of everybody was inside covid and all those things and also tesla had to shut down their uh, california fac factory for about a month or so so it's kind of hard to even produce uh, but uh, china had pretty good numbers so uh, with that number they ran a huge so uh, if you go back a little bit uh, let's look at a little bigger time frame this is hourly so if you go let's say daily right uh, daily yeah we literally broke like this uh, big line uh, 1035 uh, which was kind of support like we were kind of hanging around which is really good good consolidation period and we kind of bumped and within six or seven trading days we literally got uh, gone from almost 600 700 points then we pulled back then again then we kind of stopped and we were kind of going sideways and kind of tesla was really on a downtrend and exactly that's when uh, exactly that's when we had uh, so if you look at this uh higher time from let's say f uh, 40 uh i'm gonna do daily candle again so if you look at that we are still in a uptrend in the longer time frame from uh literally from 700 uh, this is in uh, april may yeah april may till now so uh bma kind of 14 days above uh, 50 days so we are in an uptrend in a longer time frame but within the certain time frame if you look at hourly hourly if you look at that we were in a brief uh, sideways kind of moving it then we were in a downtrend uh, if you see that but right as soon as that new hit actually i on the same day I knew it Tesla would run I had some calls and I kind of sold as we go time and I was kind of uh, doing day trading for most of the play I did not took really a big position but I was just scalping like a couple thousands here and there every day and uh, a few you know, 5k or 6k I made today too so Tesla had been really good runner so one thing I'm gonna uh, show is uh, uh, this uh, EMA line right like uh, this is few days ago and if you look at that exactly right right around 1449 so one thing is like you won't have a perfect entry of course like nobody will know perfect entry but this kind of acts like uh, so it was in a downtrend and right here um, so uh, we are almost down then the news broke and after the news broke we we're almost like 1487 or some things and I kind of got around somewhere around here for a few and uh, almost if you even got, got in 1500 first the next week literally like you're 17 you're like 300 points or something so if you're in the money you are talking about literally 30 thousands in a week so 
uh, it's it's awesome tesla moves i mean tesla makes a break so i think the best way is to go spreads with tesla um one thing a lot of people are still confused like the spread uh, to get the max profit it had to buy the expirations you won't get max profit on monday or tuesday even if both the you are like your both of the legs are above i have mentioned that in numbers of video and you can watch those video anyway so uh, i do think uh, tesla will probably pull back maybe it may run tomorrow a little bit but it's i think it's time to pull back so you have to, if you have not um, i would suggest again i'm not a financial advisor so uh, you should uh, take uh, do your own d due diligence and act accordingly but i think uh, uh, tesla have a really massive um, run up and uh, if you look at i was kind of looking around uh, before uh so if you look at uh, uh daily candlestick so when we ran uh one two three four five six like six or seven days we, we ran up to like nine or ten days i would say this is not really a good consolidation kind of a little bit but we kind of up then it was finally when after one two three four five six seven eight nine ten after ten days we kind of went back then we kind of started moving sideways and and i think we are almost there so one two three four five six seven eight nine so maybe monday we may run but i think it's about time we do need a pullback and pullback are necessary like nothing can go up high and high what goes up have to come down that's the fact and tesla is moving really quick really fast it's great for active trader like you could scalp a lot of a uh, uh, lot of lot with tesla but i think it's about time uh, it may uh, gonna do pullback so and other things a lot of people are like they're spread right what they're doing is like they're doing weekly like today's and they're doing uh weekly uh and for for example they're doing tesla's 25 2600 when the stock moves seven days i mean same days like let's say stock move fifty dollars your spread will appreciate in value the suggestion is if you are like way above let's say if you have a time like two or three weeks for 2500 you still have a little bit of time right but the thing is you should not forget with the tesla the theta is really really high like theta it can go from like three four dollars to even five seven dollars if you are like uh, you know um depending upon how far you are so theta is a massive massive so option is a depreciating asset it loses value every day and with the theta you will be losing whatever the theta is every day even it open flat and the thing is like even if it's tesla does not open flat think about it right today tesla uh, kind of opened uh, if you look at daily uh, five minutes maybe yeah five minutes yeah you can even look at a smaller time frame right today if you just entered like it was kind of in downtrend in the morning it was down 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 then right here around it kind of started the uptrend and if you had got entered right around here and you literally got like almost a hundred dollar points in a day that's ten thousand if you are deep in the money i mean that's pretty good deal so this has been working pretty good so i was kind of testing around with this ema uh, ema just uh you can search i'll make a video like how to add ema to trading view if you want to know but uh, yeah i think it's it's a great and the other thing is like if you are holding like uh, two like next week even uh, 26 2700 i think if you are profitable you should sell it the thing is like even if the price is increasing it's not increasing to mass that uh, the your strike is way too high when that happens then uh, it's uh, it's really you will not uh, your uh, spread will not appreciate uh, as it should be so either you have to be near right for example if you go to today when tesla was 1900 you got like 1980 1990 or 1990 2000 spread that's great like you'll probably make a lot of money if you're in like let's say so uh, the max profit in a uh, max profit is a width of the spread times 100 minus whatever your premium so in this uh, will if you ignore the premium so for example if you are 10 10 dollar width and you are making like eight or 900 i would suggest don't even wait for like tomorrow the thing is like nobody knows what's gonna happen tomorrow right it may go down so uh, these things happen so yeah that's it but i just wanted to kind of talk about tesla and what a win for tesla this is great for elon too and uh I guess uh, tomorrow, if you are holding tomorrow on stock, you will get uh, four extra stock, but price would adjust. So it's a kind of same thing, but uh, this is really a great uh, news for everyone.
thank you guys thank you everyone for listening if you have not don't forget to like and subscribe thank you